Hey guys and welcome back. So a lot of you know that I like to do things that make financial sense, but every once in a while you're presented with an opportunity that comes along and you just go for it. So recently what's happened is I bought a car that is in question. Now Millage has no idea what this car is yet and we're going to show it to him and to you today. So the car in question is really in dire need of a lot of help. The last thing that I've been told about it was that it had the radiator crack or coolant leaked and it started to heat up. I don't know if it has any issues when coming to head gaskets or anything like that. Um, I do know the battery is completely dead. It has an ant colony living in it. Um, there might be other creatures living in it as well. I'm, I'm a little concerned. So, Millage, what do you think this car could be? I really don't know. Uh, knowing you, it could be anything, seeing as you've done unveilings of everything from the Ferrari on down to your bad boy mower. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards maybe an old Volkswagen Bug, Beetle. Um, that you may turn into a sand dune or a, sand, a, a dune buggy. That sounds a lot um, better than what it is now. Oh, yeah, right. Good job, yeah. Uh, I will tell you, I've had one of these before. Oh. Yeah, so that, that should narrow it down to at least 50 different cars. <laughs> yeah. You know? Um, what do you think it is, Bentley? It's definitely not the other Bentley. That's already up there. Yeah, the Bentley's up there, so it's not that one. And this one is a project basket case. Let's see, two door or four door? Two door. Okay, two door. Two door convertible. Convertible? Oh yeah, giving oh. away all the hints now. Oh, see this could almost be like a hot rod or are we talking like SUV? What SUV is a two door convertible? Jeep Wrangler. That's not a, <laughs> S I mean that's not. <laughs> I, I don't consider it. Yeah, I guess you're right. That could be Sport a utility vehicle. Sport, two, yes, two per, yes. Two okay, all right. Two door, I'll give you that. It. I thought you were thinking about the Nissan Murano. Remember that convertible they had? All right, so it's not any of those. A Jeep would have been nice, though. See, I almost, the way with me being here and you said it was a surprise, I almost expected you to have found yeah. the Jeep that I sold you, that you then sold, and the current person or the last person had like just driven it into the ditch or something that's what i kind of i do miss over. that jeep i will I tell you i especially on a day like today when it's actually nice and cool i out. did not miss the uh issue with third gear <laughs> God you man. know so um but no it is not that as well it is it is not that all right you've got you've got my interest peaked i'm curious to see what you have uh pulled off here well i think the best thing to do is get a jump pack go hook it up and then let you guys see me drive it out of the trailer. All right, here we let's go. go. So I guess my first question now, while we're out here, before I look at it, was this a local find or did you have to go like Florida or something for yeah, this? Yeah, local find. Oh, nice. Yeah. So it's not. Did you buy Josh's or y'all's old race car back? No, that would have been awesome. <laughs> able to hear all the thumping and banging that is coming out of in there because if he hadn't already prefaced it it definitely would uh, be saying that it he's not worried about it as much now <laughs> this thing is pitiful <laughs> see now i'm thinking it's like an old mg or something like that how much did you pay for it See, now I'm thinking, oh, great. This is definitely like a go-kart or something. That would be awesome if it was just a go-kart. So I don't know if you heard. He said it's been sitting outside for over a year. Bugs. Probably other critters. Definitely snakes. My dad had an old Datsun pickup truck that he left out in the woods, and that was a favorite spot of possums. 
So I'm kind of half expecting to hear him yelp when he opens wherever the battery may be. And I say that because I don't know if it's in the body or if it is under the hood. All right, I'm gonna hook the jump pack up and pull her out. I do have to climb through the window, so. Hey, we're going NASCAR style. Yeah. Duke's a hazard here. 100% NASCAR style. Get my, my specialty key. Specialty key. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start off. That sounds way better than I thought. <laughs> ah, is that the one that you sold your dad? My sister. Your sister. Yes. The Z. <laughs> As you can tell, she doesn't sound too hot. Well, like I was telling, you know, people on mine, sounded better than I was anticipating because I was anticipating a lawnmower, a go-kart sound. Ooh. Look at this thing. It has been sitting outside for over a year. There is every light on. It's crazy. Uh, let's see. Look at that. Let's see, it's even got stuff been growing in it. Alright guys, so here is my 2003 Z4 3 liter. It has seen better days, my friends. There are creatures living in it. There's mold growing on it. Obviously, you can see that it was in a state of disrepair. Uh, obviously, it needs a little bit of TLC on everything. Look at this thing. Look at the wheels. All tires need to be replaced. I know on this wheel, there's a crack. Oh, you can see where it's been hit. So that should be a sign that it was probably driven hard and put away wet. Look at the inside of the door jams. Oh, it's going to be so much work. And the first thing that we have to do is replace the battery in here because, well, I'm using a jump pack just to get it going. Look more. Oh. How bad does it hurt? Oh, not not too bad. I mean, and I'm figuring if it if it's just the radiator which came with the car, then I can make a track car out of this and not lose too much. If it's a head gasket, and the heads are warped, it is pretty much dead on arrival and there's not much I can do with it. So right now, I think the only thing for me to do is to kind of clean it up a little bit, put a brand new battery in, do an oil change, and the oil change should tell me if it is a head gasket, see if the oil looks milky and contaminated with antifreeze. Um, there is every light on the dash on, so that is absolutely amazing. Um, other than, I don't even know if the top works, which on my last one it didn't work, so that's not the biggest deal. But she's going to need some TLC. That's putting it mildly. <laughs> I'm just putting it mildly. Ugh. Alrighty, 
that's off. That's off. That can come out, but I am. I notice mine is the bigger battery. And I'm not sure if that's gonna work. See, it's got this piece that you can remove, and I think that's what I need to do. Let's just remove that piece. By removing the one plastic piece over here, I was able to get this to fit. So that's pretty exciting, I think. Good news is the battery fit in there perfectly. So that is good. We also now have electricity in the car, which is a nice feature. So I don't have to use my jump pack. I probably should shut all the doors and roll up the windows. Okay, well that one's working. Let's check this one. Auto indexing windows are working so I can wash it now. guys it's hot sweaty I am tired I have washed it I put a new battery in she will start and run we're gonna have to do an oil change and also find out what's up with the coolant issue yes it's windy out here today so you probably got some wind noise I apologize but make sure that you like subscribe leave me any comments that you have and we'll catch you next time when we do the oil change and the coolant issues take care